Just for a moment, I want you to imagine coming across a penny from 1999 and potentially being able to sell it for $150,000. There are people out there that find coins and they have absolutely no idea what they're looking at. In this video, I'm going to be going over a discovery coin that some collectors say that if this coin went into auction, it would sell for potentially $150,000. So the issue with this is the fact that it is such a small detail that you could easily look over this coin. I mean, just look at this 1999 penny. Everything looks completely normal here, but essentially this is considered to be a mint error. Pretty much what happens is this is called a mule die clash error. And without boring you with too many details, during the minting process, the hubs used to strike these coins accidentally did not have a planchet, which is a blank piece of metal. It did not have that planchet in the collar when the hub dies were coming down and they struck each other, leaving an impression on the hub. So when the hub dies came apart and they put a planchet back in that collar, when the hub came back down to strike the planchet, it struck the planchet and left this mule die clash error. And essentially the area you want to be looking at is on the back left hand side of this particular coin. You can see those small engravings there. Now one thing you need to be very careful of is there are some people out there that will get another coin and hammer two coins together to try to replicate this natural error. But essentially, if you know what you're looking at, or if it's a grading company like PC Dress or NGC, they're going to know if the coin is a natural, genuine error, or if it's an after factory damaged coin worth nothing. If you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to enjoy my other videos. If you don't want to miss any more, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.